All right, this is part two of my mini-map video. And in part one, we created an overhead image looking straight down, right? A nadir view, that's what it's called, a nadir view. And we put the map on our base plate just to kind of test it out. So if you have an image of your world and you know how big it is, right? This is 1024 by 1024, you can start here. If not, I'll put the link in the description. Go ahead and watch that video to make an overhead image of your world. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's go to Starter GUI, because now we're gonna make the mini map out of the image. Go to Starter GUI, Screen GUI, and we'll say frame, right? We're gonna move that frame wherever we want it. Let's call this map frame, map FRM, right? I'm gonna make that, well, we don't have to change, the, we can change the position by hand. I'm gonna make the size zero scale, 200 pixel offset for the X, zero scale, 200 pixel offset for the Y, hit enter, and then I'm gonna move it in place. Cool. Now let's go ahead and add an image label, right? The image label, I'm going to go to the size. I'm going to make that one, zero, one, zero. So we're going to scale the entire frame. This is going to be the zero, zero of the image label. This is going to be one, one of the image label. So let's go ahead and get our map now and put it in there. Let's go to our toolbox and we have our map, right? Last video we did this. Copy asset ID. Here we go. Image, control V, we get a number. When we hit enter, we'll prepend our Roblox asset ID um, for the URI. We can get rid of this. Now, let's take a look. That's looking pretty good. There's a little yellow thing. There's a little yellow thing. Here's a big body of water. That's cool. Let's make a dot, right? Oh, and let's change that image label to map, right? Just rename that to map. Now let's make a dot. Hit the plus sign on the map frame. Text label, uh, just make a text label. I'll call this player icon, right? We will make it small, there's size. I'm not gonna, I'll just do pixel. So I'll say zero, 12 pixels on the X, zero, 12 pixels on the Y. It's tiny. It's up here. And we also want our anchor point to be the center of the pixel, not the upper left corner. So for anchor point, I'll say 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, right? As you can see, I moved it a little bit, right? That makes the center of, of the image over the pixel we want for our position. That's what, that's what we're shooting for. Speaking of which, we need this to be zero, zero down here. This is zero, zero for our GUI. We need it to be down here. So position 0.5 for scale, zero pixel offset on the X, 0.5 for scale, zero pixel offset for Y. Look at that. <clears throat> cool. All right. We still have text on that, right? Because it was a text label. Let's get rid of the text on your player icon. Boom. Cool. Let's make it red so we can see it. Background color three, red. So that's 255, zero and zero. Remember that because we're going to tween it to a darker color. Cool. And let's make it round, right? So let's go to player icon again, hit the plus UI corner. There we go. We'll make it 0.5 and zero. So 0.5 is the scale that makes it perfectly round. Nice. If it's square, it's perfectly round. If it's not, it's going to look like a, like a hot dog. All right. So, but we have it, we have a perfectly square. So it's looking good. I think we got everything for that. Let's go ahead and add a script, right? So map frame, local script, let's say, um, mini map. Cool. You can name it, whatever you want, as long as it makes sense. Right. Let's go local FRM for frame script dot parent. Right. That's our variable for our frame variable for the map frame dot map. Cool. We need a variable for our player icon. That's P L Y icon equals frame dot. Whoops. That's false frame dot 
player icon. Nice. We need a player from the player service. Game get service players dot local player. Cool. We need a character from our player. So player dot character, but it might not be ready because we might have died or we might just be starting. So if it's not ready, we're going to say or player dot character added wait, which just means we're going to wait here until this character added event fires. Character will have a value, then char will get that value. So it ensures that our char has a character. Let's say a local HRP, we need a humanoid root part for position. Char, wait for child. Humanoid root part. Cool. We need the dimension of our map, right? So we'll say map area dim. We need to normalize our studs in the world where we're at to a zero to one scale. Well, what we can do, I left the base plate there, right there is base plate. We can just say size. That's 1024 by 1024. That's the area our map is covered, right? So if your map scale is off, it might be because you don't have the proper dimension to scale it down. So in our tween service, we need that game get service. It's probably overkill. This is just going to be to pulse, to pulse the character different colors, right? Tween service and tween info. That's just going to give us a time. We'll say 0.5 from dark to, to bright to bright to dark. <clears throat> and then we'll do local function update POS position for our player. We need the X. HRP position, right, dot X divided by map area dimension X. And then remember, we need to move, we need to, to scale it down to the center because zero, zero is in the upper left on an icon. So we're just going to add a 0.5, right? And that'll do it. So we do the same for the Z position. Oh, it doesn't give me position. Map area dimension dot Z 0.5 and then we'll get our player icon right that's the icon itself we'll make that position a U dim to new and then these are our values oh this needs to be capital U dim to right so we're going to get our X percentage zero pixel offset Z percentage percentage Y pixel offset Nice. So that will position our character. Now we'll do a local function update icon, right? And then that will do a while loop while true do. We'll update position and then we'll create a tween, right? TS for tween service, create. We're going to tween on the player icon. We're going to use the tween info for time. This is going to be our goal. These are curly brackets, right? And the goal will be a color change. So we're going to say background, background, color three will equal, I'm going to move this to the next line so you can see it. There we go. Will equal a color three from RGB. And remember 255, zero and zero is bright red. 150, zero, and zero is like a darker red. It shows it here. If you click on this, you'll get the, pa the palette. All right. And now let's play the tween. Tween colon play. And then we'll wait for the tween to finish. Just that tween there. Completed. Wait. Right. And then we're going to do the same thing for the brightness. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. We're going to update position. We don't need this local here because we just declared it above. And then we're going to change this to 255 for a bright red. Play, wait. Cool. Now we got to call this. And we'll just put that down here. So if you're going to do like uh, a key binding to make the map disappear or something, you need to do that key binding above the update icon because this is never going to end. It's a continuous loop. 
well, until you die or something, this gets deleted. So put your key bindings above this. If you put them below that, you're gonna be like, hey, why doesn't it work? All right, let's try this. Oh, before we try it, remember, we took a picture facing down. We have that script right here. Don't get rid of it. We wanna take other pictures if we add stuff to the world. So disable equals true. We're just disabling it. And if you're new to the video, I have this focus point that that script relies on. It's right here. I'm keeping that there too, in case I need to take new photos. All right, let's go ahead and get a view output to see if we have any errors. I had errors before. I was playing around with it. We'll clear that. Let's go ahead and hit a plus. And this is looking good. Here's our dot. Let's run over to that yellow thing. Simtech Gamer 7, Humanoid. We'll make the walk speed fast, 50. Cool, let's run to our ye little yellow thing. There it is. That's looking pretty good. Yeah. Where else can we go? Let's see what we got. We got some lava escape over here. Let's run to that. Let's get, we can get rid of that because we know we don't have any errors. Yeah, there's our lava escape. This is pretty good. All right? It's not perfect, but we didn't need any plugins. There might be a little bit of distortion on the corners if you have high buildings because of the the view angle of the image. Right? We had our we had our field of view on the camera set the default which was 70. All right. I'm liking it. So good luck with this if um if you want, and this is a successful video, we can actually enhance this map and do some other stuff with it. So I will see you in the next video. Good luck.